From the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. We continue our live team coverage now of the winter storm bearing down on a Hampton Roads. Good afternoon, I'm Don Roberts. And I'm Katie Collette. The storm quickly approaches the region, and we're on your side with full coverage of what the storm will bring us and when. A look outside now in two ways. First, with Super Doppler 10 radar and with Tower Cam 10. A lot of clouds out there, mm -hmm. and it is cold. And in just a few hours, the snow will start falling. And when it does, it will be heavy. Now let's check in with meteorologists Jeremy Wheeler and Tiffany Savona. They've been updating those snow totals and the timing of the storm all morning long. And Jeremy and Tiffany, bring us up to date. All right, yeah, well, we got uh, snow expected for the region. Still yet to move in, but parts of the area are starting to see some precipitation already. That's right, and that's down along the Outer Banks. We had a report coming in from a viewer um, in Salvo that they were seeing some sleep. That's right. So let's have a look first off with the uh, warnings. That has not changed. We still have winter weather advisories to the north uh, for the northern neck, Middlesex County, and then the rest of the region is in the winter storm warning. Again, this has not changed since this morning from now all the way through the afternoon. Now, uh, uh, Tiffany is going to help me out here, and we're going to track this system. We do have, again, some sleet and a mix down here around Rodanthe, a little bit of sleet, and there's likely to be some snow trying to mix in as well. So Stumpy Point over just to the north of Rodanthe, a little bit of snow there, but this is rain falling down towards the Hatteras-Buxton area, and this is likely to be rain for a while, and then eventually it's going to try and change over uh, back and forth between sleet, snow, and a mix. You're going to get that for probably several hours. Uh, starting now. And we go a little bit more to the north. Some of that snow is trying to reach up into Juan Cheese and Manteo. It hadn't made it just yet. It's trying. A little bit of light precipitation there. And then if we uh, back on out, we can check out some of the other uh, cities there, northeast North Carolina. It looks like just a little bit to the south of Albemarle, the Albemarle. That's around the uh, Plymouth area. And that is moving off to the east and northeast. So this is the beginnings of the precipitation. It's about running as expected from the computer models. Uh, we'll just zoom out one last time. I want to show you that the metro, not seeing anything. And we're pretty quiet here all the way up to the northern neck and the eastern shore. Now, let's take a look at the wider view. And we did have some snow to the west of us this morning. I was a little concerned that it might try and move our way. It didn't really. We got a couple of flurries here and there. But this is where the precipitation is really coming down, uh, or at least starting to hit the ground. And that is into, again, North Carolina. Now, we have updated the snow forecast. We've got a band of 10 to 12 inches in here. Here's some of the updates. Number one, I talked to uh, National Weather Service in Wakefield, and they suggest that there's going to be quite a bit of sleet trying to mix in. That's something that I talked about with our computer model this morning, Future Track, right in through here. So south of Elizabeth City, from Grandy South, we're down to Manteo. Not only do we have a chance for some sleet, uh, but also snow falling on top of that. That could be a real problem down here for the Outer Banks of North Carolina all the way up to Kitty Hawk. So that's something we'll be talking about. And so we've lowered the amounts a little bit towards the Elizabeth City area. We've kind of pushed that 7 to 10 inch area in the 10 to 12 up a little more to the north. So more into Virginia Beach for the 10 to 12 uh, Chesapeake. More into places like northern Shawan, northern Bequimans, and then also over into Hertford County, 7 to 10 inches in the purple zone. That's almost the entire south side now as that's lifted north. And then a solid 5 to 7 inches, the southern uh, parts of the peninsula, in through the southern parts of the eastern shore, and also over here towards Isle of Wight County. We're in the 2 to 5, most of Gloucester, Matthews County, the eastern shore around um, uh, the Exmoor, Melfa area, and then also up towards James City County. Now you're in the 2 to 5 inch zone, so that's Williamsburg, 1 to 2 up towards the northern neck and middle Sussex County and out towards Sussex County. So this is an updated map. We'll have a closer version of this coming up in a little while. Just to time things out for you, these are the accumulations from our computer model future track. By about 6 p.m., we're not expecting that much to be on the ground just yet. A half inch, maybe up to an inch in some places around Elizabeth City. People will still be able to get around, but it's going to get tougher and tougher. And that's going to happen quickly because by 10 p.m., talking about one to four inches of snow, and then the rest comes in in the overnight hours. So this is some of the latest information that we have. We've got a lot more to talk about, and we'll be doing that coming up in the next 20 minutes. Don Katie. Jeremy, thank you very much. And as the newscast goes on, you'll continue to see closings and delays scrolling across the bottom of your screen. We just got new information about two very important uh, closings affecting the military personnel. Mm -hmm. We've learned that because of the weather, the commander of the Navy Region Mid-Atlantic says Joint Expeditionary Base Little Creek Fort Story uh, is implementing essential personnel only report tomorrow. So again, Joint Expeditionary Base Little Creek Fort Story 
only essential personnel are to report tomorrow. And this word also from Navy Region Mid-Atlantic. This has to do with military installations in Hampton Roads. Non-mission essential personnel do not report tomorrow at Navy installations in Hampton Roads. Now, this is based on observed and forecasted conditions for the Hampton Roads area due to the winter storm. So that's mission essential personnel only report to all Hampton Roads installations and activities. That's on Wednesday, January 29th. Non-essential personnel do not report. And again, those closings and delays scrolling across the bottom of your screen, you can also find them on wavy.com. And now we head to Ava Hurdle, who's been working all day in Virginia Beach, working to get more information about a number of trucks now, Ava, that are going to be headed to the city to help out. First of all, let's tell you that Virginia Beach Public Works crews are in their second day of preparations to clear roads and treat roads of anticipated snow and ice. Now, they are stocking up and also mixing that salt and sand to brine the streets. 2,000 tons of that abrasive mix was used last week. Some 30 crews expect to cover hundreds of miles of roads and secondary, primary and secondary roads over the course of two days. They expect to get help from a state agency. We're going to be uh, uh, talking with VDOT, and it sounds like that they may be sending us some uh, big trucks, possibly from the western part of the state, to give us some support in this one. Now, of course, we see behind us here, uh, they're still continuing to mix those abrasives going on right now live behind me here. And uh, crews expect this will take place over a two-day period as they work to clear and treat the roads if the precipitation falls as forecasted. We're live now in Virginia Beach. Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. Of course, a lot of concern in Virginia Beach with some 430,000 people mm -hmm. and the hundreds of miles of roads. Then, of course, they're taking precautions to make sure folks can get around. But then again, the word is to stay off the roads once the snow starts falling. Yeah, that is great advice. And Stephanie Harris has been working throughout the morning in our newsroom to get information from VDOT as to how they're continuing to prepare for this storm. Stephanie? Absolutely. Katie and Don, VDOT, actually, their crews are headed out onto the roads right now. And joining me this midday is Marshall Herman from VDOT. She joins us on the phone. Good afternoon, Marshall. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Hey, I have to ask now, you guys are headed out onto the roads now. How many crews are going out now and to do what before the snow falls? Well, we have over 300 pieces of equipment with crews up and down the Hampton Roads region. Um, they, we already pre-treated roads um, up until this morning, and the crews are mobilizing now with, with trucks that are equipped with materials like salt and sand as well as plows. Now you have, as you mentioned, over 300 pieces of equipment, but the area that you cover is just huge. You're going like from Greenville to the Eastern Shore and to Virginia Beach. So what are the main priorities? Um, our main priorities are the interstate and primary roads, making them passable, but we are um, increasing our resources on the south side of the interstate, uh, and, and that's an area that we expect uh, a higher amount of, of snow to hit. Increasing your resources. So are you bringing help in from the outside? Uh, well, no, we got some crews from other parts of the state that are coming in uh, to assist us with additional equipment should we need it. And can you tell me about your crews, how they're going to work? Are you staggering in like 12-hour shifts or how many people can you actually have working all at once and for how long? Yes, crews will be out in 12-hour shifts and, and they'll be out as long as conditions exist. Okay, wonderful. And again, we know that you've used a lot of the salt, sand, and chemical mixtures. Last week, we don't usually use that much. So have you been able to replenish all of your supplies? We do have enough supplies. We actually had more supplies coming in today in anticipation of, of the current event that's happening. All right, I'm sure we'll be in touch with you again throughout the next uh, 24 hours or so. Thank you, Marshall, so much for joining us this midday. Thank you. All right, and also uh, city streets, uh, different city departments are also getting prepared to take care of the city streets, but a lot of the cities have put out reminders to folks that this is a joint effort. They're going to need your help to clear the snow and ice. And they want to remind people that it is your responsibility to clear like the sidewalks um, in front of your house. And if you can, don't park your car along the street if you can help it in case snow plows do need to get through. Katie and Don? And that word comes just as we just cleared our own local street. Too. Yeah, that's exactly right. Still to come, Anita Blanton working very hard to get information from NCDOT and how things in North Carolina are looking for tomorrow. Her full report when we return.
Closed captioning is brought to you by Michael and Son. Make way for the Window King, for he brings vinyl double-hung replacement windows to his people from 189 installed. Your home is your castle, so your windows should be king. Call the Window King, 399-KING. Partners in Dental Health doesn't have to resort to gimmicks just to get you to come to their office, like showing you cute little kids, or soften you up by showing adorable puppies, or try to entice you into their office with special offers. Free stuff! Because at Partners in Dental Health, it's just about good dentistry at affordable prices by dentists who care. Partners in Dental Health. Three locations, Norfolk and Virginia Beach. 499-2100. Right now, Megan is choosing to make a difference. Brian is starting to make an impact. Right now, you can join them at South University, where you can earn your Associate of Science degree as a physical therapist assistant. You can find a rewarding program where you can learn the skills to help others throughout your career. Call right now or visit us online. South University, your new future starts right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. If you're struggling to meet basic needs, Assurance Wireless may help you stay afloat. Eligible Virginia households receive a free cell phone, 250 free voice minutes, plus 250 free texts each month. Now I can stay connected to my kid's doctor in school. You get nationwide coverage and these calling features. You may qualify if you're on food stamps, Medicaid, or certain other public assistance programs. Our plans are the best value among major lifeline programs. Call 1-800-622-2299 or visit AssuranceWireless.com. On average, living in a retirement community can cost nearly $3,000 a month. That really adds up over the years. For a fraction of that cost, Hatchet can design and build an in-law suite. Our designers will customize a living space that is as beautiful as it is functional, with all the universal features for senior living. With Hatchet, you can maintain your independence and stay close with your family. Call Hatchet Design Remodel today and let's start the conversation. It costs nothing to ask. I'm Bobby Hatton, a mesothelioma trial lawyer. If you or someone you love has mesothelioma, you need a trial lawyer to protect your family's financial future. Call PWHD, local lawyers with a national reputation. At Papa John's, we believe in better. Right now, get any large pizza with your choice of any toppings for just $12. Even specialties. That's Papa John's quality for just $12. Plus, earn free pizza fast with Papa Rewards at PapaJohns.com. Make way for the Window King, for he brings vinyl double-hung replacement windows to his people from 189 installed. Your home is your castle, so your windows should be king. Call the Window King, 399-KING. Wavy News 10 today, your number one source in the morning for over two decades. I love fashion. I want these shoes and these shoes. I used to think high fashion only came with a high price tag. So when I saw America's Best Designer Sale, I couldn't believe it. I can get two pairs of eyeglasses for $69.95 with a free eye exam. And with the Designer Sales collection of frames, I was sold. I want this one and this one. Designer frames and low prices. Yes, please. Call 1-800-2-PAIR to schedule an appointment today. Sale ends Saturday. We're back on Waving News 10 Midday with live team coverage of the winter storm bearing down on Hampton Roads. And now we take a look at North Carolina. Uh, state, uh, the northeast part of the state expected to get amounts of snow that they rarely see. That's right. And our Anita Blanton's been working the phones and the web to get information you need. Anita, what does NCDOT have to say to you today about their preparations? Plenty of information that I got from NCDOT just a short while ago. Take a look at their website. When you pull up NCDOT's website, this is immediately what comes up. A special alert. It says the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory for central and eastern North Carolina that started at 12 p.m., so about 15 minutes ago, motorists are advised to be aware of icy road conditions, high winds, limited visibilities on all roadways. And speaking of the roadways, let's scroll down to uh, the roadways there in North Carolina that they're talking about right here. And if we can pull this full, I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that they have just shared with me. They said that they put brine on all of the major routes in northeast uh, North Carolina and that part of the state starting uh, yesterday morning. So that gives it some time to go ahead and settle in to maximize their efforts that they're doing on the roadways. Southern 
coastal and western parts of North Carolina. They say are already starting to see some precipitation, so they're already working in those areas. They have crews on standby for the northeastern parts of the state. Those of you who are in our viewing area, we're talking about you. And they also are working to get trucks and crews from the western part of the state, places like Greensboro, to bring them into the eastern parts of the state to help you out as well. That's about 18 trucks that are going to be coming to areas like Northampton County and Dare counties. Now back out here live, they say the best thing about this weather system as opposed to last week when they had uh, snow coming through some of the same areas is that this week they are anticipating warming up a little quicker than last week. Last week when they had snow come through, there were several other days that were still below freezing or at freezing and so it was harder for them to do their job. This week, if we warm up in that area a little quicker, they're going to be able to clear those roads faster as well. So that's something that they're anticipating. I'm going to be uh, keeping in contact with them. I also have a phone call into uh, North Carolina's Department of Emergency Management. As soon as they uh, get back with me, I'll be sharing information from them as well. I'll be monitoring the roadways here throughout our midday and also starting at 4 p.m. for our hour uh, and more of news. We'll be here as long as you need us on the air and also online at wavy.com. Back to you. Anita Blanton, thank you very much. And I was looking on Twitter and on Facebook. The North Carolina ferry system, while we're speaking of North Carolina, says the, the following ferry services are suspended. Ocracoke, Cedar Island, Ocracoke Swan Quarter, and the Ocracoke Hatteras ferries, all suspended because of the weather. And uh, NCDOT ferry system says those operations will resume as soon as conditions improve. So things are already getting mm. bad there on the water for the ferries. So pay very close attention to that. And hopefully folks who are out and use use the ferries we'll be able to get back but it may take a little longer patience on this midday now we are checking on uh, an update on our power situation and how Dominion power crews are going to be ready for any events that may happen power lines going down and these crews are recovering from a very busy week just a week ago let's check in with uh, Benita Billingsley Harris right now with Dominion Virginia power good afternoon and thanks for joining us Hi, Don and Katie. How are you? Doing very well. Good. I know you are bracing for the worst of the storm, and your crew is getting ready to put in some overtime. That's right. We are at a heightened state of awareness, and our crews are already ready to work in 12-hour shifts so they can respond to any outages night and day. And based on the forecast, what are you anticipating? Well, we do have extra crews in areas where we expect the biggest impact, like um, our offices in North Carolina, the North Carolina regions, the Outer Banks, Elizabeth City area, uh, Chesapeake and, and Virginia Beach could, uh, could be hit pretty hard as well. So we have extra crews in those areas, and we're prepared to bring in resources from other areas if we need to. It's, it's going to be really cold outside, and we want to make sure that we respond as quickly and safely as possible. Now, Benita, about how many other crews are you talking about? I know in hurricane situations, we've seen, you know, the long, long lines of trucks from other states coming in to help out. Do you see anything uh, that large, or do you think it's just going to be a few from other areas? We're not expecting anything that large at this point. The good news is the type of snow that we're expecting is more of a dry snow, and it's not as damaging to our system as the wet, heavy snow that really weighs down tree limbs and power lines. But we do have plenty of resources available to bring in if we need to. And again, Benita, if the power goes out at my house, what do you want me to do? Please give us a call at 1-866-DOM-HELP, or also just go right to your smartphone and put in dom.com, and you can report your outage, report any tree, any lines that you see down, and, uh, and let us know so we can get to them as soon as we can. Benita, is there anything that our viewers can do to help before the power goes out to try and prevent anything? Obviously, lines down, there's not much they can help with that, but is there anything that they can do? Well, one thing they can do is try to conserve energy as much as possible, which is always a wise thing to do. Uh, you know, turn out any lights you're not using, unplug any appliances you don't need. Uh, reducing the load on our system will help restore outages quicker uh, when they happen and also reduce the chance of, of reoccurring. And then the other thing you all have been saying throughout your newscast is, you know, just be careful on the roads. Don't be on the roads if you don't have to, um, because when you're out on the roads in these kinds of conditions, not only does it increase the, ch the risk of accidents, but it also makes it more difficult for our crews to gain access to the areas where they need to make repairs. All righty, we're getting ready for the storm, and we are glad that you guys at DOMCOM are ready too. Benita Harris, thank you very much. Thank you all for everything. All right, well, yeah, that's uh, good information there.
and uh, we're going to be talking about a lot more information for the forecast and what's going on right now. And so we're starting off with our, our snow tracker. we got a 100% chance for snow, and it's not a joke. I mean, accumulating snow in Hampton Road, it's going to be a good bet. And uh, this is also the case for northeast North Carolina. But uh, one of the updates we're going to be talking about is some sleet. Now, with some of what we can expect, this is uh, meteorologist Tiffany Savona. She's going to start us off, and then I'll come in a little bit talk more about the forecast. Tiffany? Okay, thanks, Jeremy. And it's looking like a lot of us will see, almost everyone will see at least some snow. Now, the snow will start by the evening commute 5 to 7 o'clock, so it will be a messy evening commute. Roads will be closed by tonight. We're going to have blowing and drifting snow. Those northerly winds are going to blow that snow around, and that will certainly reduce those visibilities. And we are still monitoring that track of the area of low pressure because a slight shift in its track as it gets closer to the coast will dramatically alter those snow totals. So we'll break down that evening commute. Here's the impacts that you will see if you're going to be heading home later on this evening. Snow will be falling and accumulating on the roads. The roads will be snow covered. Snow will be distracting to drivers. Roads will be slippery. We talked about those winds. You'll have that blowing snow, reduced visibilities, and a lot of folks will be heading home at this time as well. So we'll have a lot of volume on the roads, traffic at this time. So if possible, it will be a good idea if you can leave work just a few hours earlier. Satellite and radar showing that air of low pressure off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. There's that front. We have cold air at the surface, and we have warmer air rolling in above it. You can see the rain already developing across the Outer Banks, and we're seeing that transition to snow across some parts of northeastern North Carolina. And we'll show you a closer view here of our DMA area and show you that some of that snow mixing in starting to pick up across some of the southern areas south of Elizabeth City and some lighter snow to the west of Emporia. And Jeremy Wheeler is actually going to track this hour by hour for you. All right, let's take a look at it and time things out. So this is Future Track, our computer model. And what I've done is I've taken out the clouds and just put in the snow, the sleet and rain mix. And so at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, we have at least some scattered snow showers around, a little more concentrated down here in North Carolina. Temperatures are going to be cold enough for snow, but then if we go a little farther to the south, we're noticing more of a mix. There's going to be some sleet pellets mixing in. Keep that in mind in this forecast that pink is a mix, and we're going to watch and see the update here and see how far north it gets. It's going to change our forecast a little bit. So we've got the snow between 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock for Hampton Roads. It reaches all the way up to the northern neck, eastern shore, at least scattered snow showers, if not widespread snow showers coming down and this is a deep blue color light blue that's light snow we're talking about a moderate snow here between five o'clock and seven p.m. so the snow on the roads is quickly going to start to accumulate the ground is plenty cold now we had a little warm up yesterday but we had a cold air move in last night the ground is plenty cold enough for this to stick on contact now let's watch this mix zone coming up from the south this will be a rain sleet so mix when you get this when you have rain and sleet and snow mixing together, it reduces the amounts. And so that is a possibility that we're tracking in here. 11 p.m. tonight, Elizabeth City on to the southeast. Grandy, southward. That may reduce your amounts. Also, though, if that sleet really adds up, that will create some iciness on the roads down there. So you may not have as much of a problem with snow south of Elizabeth City. You may have a problem more with that sleet accumulating. And I talked to the National Weather Service. That's something that they're monitoring as well. But this is likely to be snow across Hampton Roads into uh, most of North Carolina with a few exceptions. Now here's 11 p.m. We take it until the uh, 2 a.m. hour. We have plenty of snow out there, but it starts to taper off and then it pushes out by about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Now the amounts, again, seeing that zone of 10 to 12 inches in here, on the south end of this, we may quickly reduce the amounts depending on that mix, how long it sits in place. Elizabeth City southward, something we're monitoring, something we'll be updating on. 7 to 10 inches for the south side, peninsula uh, up towards Hampton. You're talking about 5 to 7 inches. Newport News, uh, Northampton County, Gloucester County, uh, around Gloucester Point, 5 to 7, 2 to 5 though for the courthouse. And then for Surrey, Sussex County, 2 to 5 around uh, Williamsburg. You're expecting 1 to 2 inches, maybe a little bit higher than that. Pardon me, there's Williamsburg. Uh, two to, 1 to 2 inches, maybe towards the 3-inch mark. And then Virginia Beach, you're in the 7 to 10. Chesapeake, 
The south end, though, 10 to 12. Uh, Portsmouth and Norfolk, you're in the 7 to 10 inch zone now. We've increased those amounts and pushed them a little bit more to the north. So our temperatures right now are in the 20s, and later today, they will not go anywhere. Temperatures in the 20s, snow continues into tomorrow morning. We got a lot more details to talk about. We'll have it coming up. Jeremy, thank you. And our team coverage of this winter storm continues in just a moment. Time Saver Traffic is all new, only on Wavy News 10 today. I was not sleeping well. I was just not uh, interested in my husband anymore and sexually. Since I came to Hormone Health and Weight Loss and started the therapy, I have been sleeping better. I actually am interested in having sex with my husband now, which is great because the, the kids are older and so they're not home as much. And, you know, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> Live well because you can. Call Hormone Health and Weight Loss today for a free consultation. Injured victims, you have a friend in the injury business. Me, I'm Lowell the Hammer Stanley, and I want to get you money. Not soothing words or excuses, money. My large staff and I are devoted to your welfare, to getting you the settlement the law says you deserve, to keep you from making mistakes and insurance company traps. Call me for a free consultation, 459-CASH. You call I Hammer 459-CASH. All this week, Wavy News 10 is on your side with Toll Patrol. Everything you need to know before cruising through the Midtown and Downtown Tunnels. I feel like we're being taxed to death. I, I don't know what people are going to do. Examining who it will impact most. Young families, it's going to affect small business owners, it's going to affect nonprofits, really, and really hit them very hard and make it very difficult for them to survive in the economy. Wavy News 10 is on Toll Patrol all this week, beginning at 5. Hampton Roads is very fortunate to have Dr. Glenn Shepard back in practice here at Oyster Point Oral and Facial Surgery. With Dr. Lee's expertise in oral surgery and my background, 30 years in plastic surgery, we're going to make a good team. Not all young teens in Hampton Roads will have the opportunity to become successful. Many are living with troubled and absent parents who are unable to care for them. They are good kids who will be welcome at the elder's house. But in order to make this dream a reality, we need your help. Nissan of Chesapeake is committed to customers and community, and we encourage you to help. For more information on how to donate, visit theeldershouse.com. If given the opportunity, these teens can succeed. The more you know. You've been in an accident, and you need a lawyer, but you don't want to call right now because you don't want everyone around you knowing your business, or maybe you just don't want to talk right now. You can contact me at joelbeaver.com. We'll call you when you want. We'll respond to you by email, and we'll come see you when it works for your schedule. The Joel Bieber Firm at joelbieber.com. Why am I whispering? Call Joel Bieber. Achieve a more youthful appearance at Oyster Point Oral and Facial Surgery. A cosmetic procedure like eyelid surgery or a facelift can correct skin condition due to aging. With over 30 years of experience in plastic surgery, Dr. Shepard can help you to attain your goal. Call Oyster Point Oral and Facial Surgery today. We're on your side, giving you the information you need to prepare for the storm. And we want to highlight some of the tools you'll find on wavy.com. Now, be sure to sign up for our wavy text alerts. Hover over the More tab on the wavy.com homepage. There's a spot to sign up for the weather alerts. And just plug in your information and the alerts you'd like to receive, and they'll come to your phone. Another useful tool on wavy.com, weather blogs. Just hover, hover over the weather tab and click on weather blog. Ten on your side meteorologists work round the clock to make sure you have up-to-the-minute updates. You'll find in-depth information on what you can expect when you walk outside. Also under the weather tab, Super Doppler 10 radar, you can track precipitation across Hampton Roads anytime you want. And don't forget to send us your pictures of the snow. Just email them to report it at wavy.com. And make sure you send in your name and where you live, or we can't use your pictures. Our web producers are working on a slideshow to showcase your photos. All right, live team coverage of the winter storm bearing down on Hampton Roads continues after this break.